All right, guys, so today's video is going to be slightly different. I want to talk about a topic, but there's been a couple of cases this week, and I just felt like this needed to be pointed out because some people are not being treated fairly at all. Now, I'm going to use uh, Jeff over at El Jefe Reviews first, and then I'm going to talk about something I experienced. Again, it's just really weird. Jeff over at El Jefe Reviews is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet on the internet, which is very, very rare. Um, he's a moderator in some people's chats. Like he's really a great guy. He'll do anything for anybody. He's just one of those genuinely nice guys. So he has a channel just like mine and I will say definitely make sure to check out Jeff's channel and I'll put a link below. So Jeff covers um, headphones and a lot of audio stuff just like me. And in fact, he's one of those that covers um, quite a few Bluteo products. I haven't personally had great luck with them. I've never been a huge fan of Bluteo products out of the ones that I've tried. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have good products. A lot of you guys seem to like a lot of the headphones they have released. So anyway, he was given, like Bluteo sent him out a pair of headphones to do a review on. Out of the blue, a person named Tina from Bluteo contacted me and wanted my you know shipping information so that they could send me a sample of the blue ot7s for a review again i will put a link to that video so you can watch it because this will all make sense in a minute but jeff basically didn't care for him too much and you know he's not one to just flat out bash him but by the end of the video he's just saying that he can't recommend him he just genuinely doesn't like him enough to recommend him and again that's he's a reviewer in fact El Jefe Reviews reviews is even in the title. So here is the way that Tina from Bluteo responded. Let me read you this email that she sent me last night. Hi, I have checked your video of our T7. You not a real YouTuber. You just a cheater that attack our brand to attract some fans, follow your channel. That's why you still just little fans. Best regards, Tina. So as you can see, Bluteo decided, this representative from Bluteo, decided to not only attack his character, but belittle his channel, uh, belittle his fans by just saying, you know, you have such a small subscriber count. But honestly, if you think about it, Bluteo thought enough of Jeff's channel and his subscriber base and his fan base that they offered to send the headphones out to him. So it's ironic that because they didn't like the response they got from his product that now, you know, he's a small YouTuber, he's just doing this for exposure, all this stuff, which makes no sense because honestly, it just doesn't fit his character at all. The reason that I'm sharing this email with you, because normally I don't even do reactionary type content, is the fact that a lot of you are potential Bluteo customers. A lot of you are still looking at this brand. I still see people asking me, even despite this video, are still asking me which Bluteo headphones they should buy, despite my negative review. So I want you guys to know who you're dealing with exactly here. And this is why I'm bringing this up. They don't respond well to criticism. They don't respond well to bad reviews on their products. And they don't respond well to customers who want to do warranties or who want to return their products or who are having problems with their stuff. These are all things that need improvement. I mean, we're talking things outside of production. We're talking about things that are outside of the headphones themselves, which need improvement. But for a company, a professional company, to not be able to take criticism, when most companies, if you put a negative review and you just don't like something, a lot of them will reach out to you to ask you know, what they could do better, or they'll say, did you try this, or how about this? And you have that communication between each other, and you build a relationship. But you don't burn a relationship just because somebody doesn't like your product. They don't have anything against you personally, but they took it personal, so they decided to go at him in a personal way. And not understanding this, Jeff, because he's such a nice guy, has a very large following as far as within the tech community. And the tech community is pretty tight knit that we kind of stick behind each other and take up for each other in a sense that all of these creators got behind him. All these people, you know, retweeted the video that he had. He did a video response to what Bluteo did. And again, I will put a link below to make sure that you guys can see this. But, I mean, all kind of creators, all the way up to Jonathan Morrison, who even on Twitter left the comment of saying, well, I guess I'm not going to promote or be featuring any Bluteo products in my videos. So right there, you have to understand that you're looking at a creator that you're going, oh, well, he only has so many subscribers. 
you think that he only has this certain outreach. But technically, with all the connections that he has and the people that are behind him, it's a much larger number, considering Jonathan Morrison is over a million subscribers, and all these other creators have a larger subscriber count. Like, it adds up. These people are behind other creators, and so when you do that, you have other creators like myself. Again, I'm not a huge creator, but Bluteo had sent out their truly wireless earbuds for me to review. And now, at this moment, I can't in good faith review them because one, I support Jeff and I don't support what Bluteo did and the way that they handled things. Now, the next day they did issue this apology. Dear customers and fans, I am Jesse from the official of Bluteo. Thank you for your support and focus on Bluteo. I'm here to make a public statement to apologize for the letter that our former colleague wrote to you. Actually, this colleague already resigned last week before they wrote the impolite letter. We are sorry for that because we don't know this event until this morning. On behalf of Bluteo, I public this statement to apologize for suffer of Mr. Jeff. In order to meet customers' requirements, we will take serious attitude to enhance organization of our company and spy on the R&D of our products. Additionally, we'd sure love to accept suggestion and advice from you and our customers. Therefore, please feel at ease to contact us if you have any problem. Thank you. Wish you have a great life. Sincerely, Bluteo. And if you kind of see it like I did, I mean, it's great that they even issued an apology, but at this moment, it kind of put them in a corner where it they didn't really have a choice. Now, it could be the broken English. It just didn't feel genuine to me at all. And another big thing that was pointed out um, is the fact that the email from this person that they claim left the company, resigned from the company over a week ago, the email was only sent two or three days ago within the same week from their location. So this person didn't quit. If they did, they didn't quit last week like they said they did. So there's already lies in the apology. I don't know how genuine it is. I don't know how much to believe it. Again, I'm not one of those to just kind of read too much into things, but the company's trying to backpedal at this point. Now, onto the thing that I experienced. Within the last, I think it was in the last week, maybe two weeks, I did a video on a pair of headphones that I wasn't crazy about. So I told the company that I wasn't crazy about these. Uh, if you want me to, I'll send them back. They were persistent. Nope, we really want you to do a video. So I did a video on them and I didn't recommend them. I couldn't recommend them because I didn't like them. And the very next day, they emailed me telling me they saw the video and they wanted me to pull the video. They wanted me to take the video down uh, because they're saying, well, you can't say you don't like them. So again, I, th I think brands, and especially within this case, they think if they're sending me a product that I need to promote the product. If you're sending a reviewer a product, you have to know and you have to be open to criticism because most reviewers are going to just look for negative things um, on top of positive just to kind of balance things out. Now, I'm not even one of those creators. If I just don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. But if I really like it, I'm going to say I really like it and I don't feel the need to point out negative if I don't find anything. So I didn't like the product, but they were persistent. They kept emailing. We really want you to take this down. You need to take this down. And... It's just, it's crazy that that's where we're at, but I think brands need to realize if you send something out, you're open to whatever criticism there is. Um, especially, now there's some that try to send things that, well, you can't say this or you need to say this. And I don't do those kind of videos, but some people do. Jeff, I don't think is one of those people at all. But again, the way that some of this stuff is handled, you guys just need to know about is some behind the scenes stuff. It's really crazy the power that companies think they have just because they're sending out um, free products. I really want to thank all the creators that got behind Jeff. Um, there's some really big names. I'm not going to start listing everybody because I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, but it just goes to show you the tech community is something special. Uh, they will stick behind each other and you guys are incredible. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.